Um, hi, so I'm Peter Spencer, um, and I was at BU this summer. Um, and so the first thing I see when I walk in is this wall of physics equations. Um, and then the second thing I see when I walk into my office is this chalkboard full of physics equations <laughs> with the word beautiful in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, and that's pretty much how I can describe it, beautiful. Um, and then this was somebody I worked with and that was just a lot of acronyms for one presentation, and I still don't know what any of them mean. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what I worked with was I worked with simulated data from CMS, which is a detector at CERN, um, a particle accelerator in Switzerland. Um, and CMS takes pictures of the Large Hadron Collider and gives lots and lots of data um, every second. Um, so low mass die photon final states were what I was um, interested in and <laughs> it explains itself but I'll go into it. Um, so Di photon is two photons, final states is after the collision, and then low mass is low mass. Um, and they're important because there is potential that the, the di photon final states have decayed from a new unknown particle um, that we call axions. Um, so the way we were going to find this was do the similar um, photon resonance um, like, find, like how they found this Higgs boson, but instead of at 125 GV, we were looking at 10 to 30 GV. So 10 times smaller than the, um, 10 times less energy than the Higgs boson. Um, so invariant mass is the mass of the system, and it doesn't change no matter what perspective you're looking at whether you're someone watching it through a telescope or whether you're a particle moving at the speed of light. Um, and we were looking at 10 GV, like I said, or, or up to 30 GV um, diphoton final states. Um, so mass resolution was what, the, was what I was mainly concerned with, which is basically how well our triggers do which is what um, CMS gets um, the data from, how well they do versus the generated or truth information that we know to be true. Um, so realistically, um, what we would want is that our um, generated and um, data to be the same, um, but that's not the case since it's real life and everything always has a little bit of error here and there. Um, so my final um, project was to find the resolution between the different levels of um, CMS and to see if it was good enough to be used for um, future projects. Um, and so these were like my final two graphs that I looked at and there, there's a pretty strong peak at zero for both of them, which was promising um, and can lead to future work with what we currently have. Um, so we don't have to like change anything to account for uh, the mistakes in the triggers and um, different uh, CMS data. Um, so my host family is actually Kitty Holbrook's godparents. <laughs> um, so that was pretty cool. I hung out with them for a little bit. Um, <laughs> And then um, extracurriculars, I was, um, I had almost the entire week of July 4th off, so I went to um, Lexington and Concord, and I toured Harvard, um, the USS Constitution, and then the world's largest Van de Graaff generator, um, which was pretty cool. <laughs> um, advice to future Pinterns is don't be afraid to speak up if you don't understand what your mentors are telling you. Because um, it's definitely, yeah, it 
you won't understand it at first, but after a week, a week and a half, maybe at the end of your internship, you'll understand. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you to everybody, especially Sarah. <laughs>